you know, I've had tinnitus or tinnitus for 30 years, um, spent eight years in the military, the U.S. Army, um, went to Desert Storm, and I came back with a raging, for me, raging case of tinnitus. And now I know what my triggers are. I know what the triggers are for a lot of people. Caffeinated beverages tend to make it worse, right? Any type of stimulants, let's not pick on caffeine. It's better sometimes, it's worse other times, which makes it even worse if you're asking me because you don't know what you're going to get the next day or at a certain point. But you're correct that there is no cure yet. There is no cure. There are, however, treatments. There are things that can make it better. I discovered a treatment, and I use it in Melody Clouds, binaural beats. Uh, binaural beats, uh, if I listen to music at certain frequencies, while I am listening to that frequency, uh, my tinnitus, tinnitus, it dissipates. And it'll generally can last, you know, I don't know, definitely while I'm listening to the music and I'm really not paying, well, that's really what I use it for is to get to sleep. Because to me, it was enough. It would, just just having that silence for me was enough. To fall now, asleep. Yeah. Right. It never occurred to me, hey, did this have a lasting effect afterward? So, um, I know that with other things, binaural beats does affect your mood, um, and those are lasting effects. Those things have a, a effects that last longer than you actually listen to the music. Or when I'm listening to 432 to get to sleep, uh, 432 hertz will drop me like a bad habit. It actually knocks me out. I am now going to pay closer attention and see if that tinnitus will dissipate for a period of time after I've listened to that frequency. Okay, so caffeine. It's interesting that you noticed that because I'm a caffeine drinker. I'm trying to get off it, but I'm drinking coffee like probably most people. And how caffeine affects uh, tinnitus? How does it affect? What's the? How does it affect it? Why the tinnitus gets worse when we have caffeine? And it's only coffee, or it might be tea, black nope. tea, green tea. Coffee, tea, Diet Coke. I drink a ton of Diet Coke. And when I'm drinking Diet Coke um, and I'm taking in that caffeine, uh, my tinnitus goes through the roof. And I know that. And here's why it will make perfect sense to you. Because with tinnitus, what you are hearing is the injury to your nerve. You're actually hearing that injury, okay? Similar to if you bump your elbow or if the doctor hits your knee with a hammer, he hits that nerve and you feel that reflex, okay? With tinnitus, you are hearing the injury, that reverberation. So when you add caffeinated beverages, when you add caffeine to that, it excites that nerves like it excites every other nerve in your body. And you are going to hear an increase in that tinnitus. You're going to hear an increase in that, in that tinnitus. And so that's what the mechanism is. Now, the opposite is true. They've even started studies where they give people sedatives to calm those nerves. And so, and so far, so good, but it's not a cure. And most people don't want to be bound to right. pharmaceuticals as much as they can, as, as, they, as, as they can. They want to stay away from being bound to pharmaceuticals as much as possible. You mentioned alcohol as well. What triggers tinnitus worse, alcohol or caffeine? For me... And see, this is another thing that is so pervasive and the reason that is so hard to treat because your tinnitus, your tinnitus is different than mine. You hear something completely different than I do. For me, it is a ringing, whining, and wishing sound. That's what I hear. For other people, if, if, if let's say you, you're a dentist and you injured your nerve with the drills, you're going to hear that whining si sound, but you may not hear the whooshing sound and you may not hear a low hum that someone that is using a jackhammer. Now, someone that has injured their nerve with a concussive explosion, bombs, gunfire, police, what, okay? That tends to be the 
wine, the tinny type wine that you hear. So there are different sounds to this injury. It's not really a disease. People want to say it's a disease. I don't think it's so much as a disease as it is an injury, which is also what makes it very difficult to quote unquote cure, to make it go away. Okay, but your tinnitus is different from mine because mine came out of the blue. I didn't I didn't go shoot guns. I was not around some loud machinery. You were in the army. You're pretty sure you you were around, you know, uh, very Netflix. loud stuff. Yes, yeah. so, huge mm -hmm. explosions. Right, hundred yes. percent. So yours Gunfire. was different. Yeah, mine was a. And look, a lot of people get their tinnitus from l listening to loud music when they were a kid. You know, the lesson here is to guard your hearing jealously. OK, you, you you need to be wearing ear protection. You need to be protecting yourself from. Hey, listen, we walk around with padding on when we're going to be in crashes. You know, we, we, you you there's shin guards to protect your shins. You People protect themselves. The lesson here is they need to be protecting themselves when they're listening to music by lowering the volume by uh, ear, uh, you know, ear protection. When they're going into construction uh, areas, they need to be wearing noise canceling. Pilots, a lot of pilots have tinnitus now because of listening to that steady drone of the engine, either right in front of them or directly behind them. I've got several pilot friends that their tinnitus is raging. They are, they were the first customers for Melody Clouds. And also the world around us is very loud right now. It's not like it used to be our, you know, our grandfathers lived in a village somewhere and they only heard, you know, the natural sounds. Here it's so loud and the traffic all the time. And then you go and there's music and there's, and this affects people don't, they don't even know. Some people probably live with an eye to since they were little kids. They don't, they don't even know that there is, should, should be a silence, complete silence. That is 100% true. So many people listen to me on podcasts. I'm a guest on other podcasts and I get every single time I make an appearance on a podcast. And, and that's one of the reasons I do it. I always, and I mean, when I say this, I'm not being hyperbolic. I will get people from this podcast who contact me and say, thank you for talking about this. I had no idea what this was and now you've identified it and maybe i can get rid of it a little bit and sergey i will say to you that this it's not uncommon it is not uncommon for people to well I, you know the, the lack of a better word i mean the the ceo of texas roadhouse restaurants mentioned in his note ending his life that this was a major contributor of him deciding that life wasn't worth living anymore. This, this is a mission for me. This, this became, when I discovered, when I was handed this, it took me four days to purchase MelodyClouds.com and recognize I needed to bring this to other people. That's how, that's how convinced I am that binaural beats, solfeggio frequencies, it, it's grown, but that's how quickly I became convinced that this was something I needed to share with other people. Yeah, you found your mission very quickly, which is great. You know, until we find we find our mission in life, we're kind of you don't know which way you're going. You're trying right. everything, but when you know your mission, you concentrate on that, and that's that's your mission. You found it, and you say, "Okay, this is I love to do," and you help people, and you probably make money and you are satisfied and you're hitting your own tinnitus as well. And you're talking to interesting people like me, right? We exactly right. Well, look, you talk about, listen, we, we charge <laughs> my wife. Hey, I got to talk very quietly because my wife, we, we, I did not do this to make money. $2 and 99 cents a month for the first 60 days. So people can try it and see if it works for them. And then if it does and they decide to continue with us, we're charging $6 a month, okay? So I'm not getting rich on, on treating people or helping people with, not treating, but helping people with their tinnitus and helping them relax. But you're right. This became a personal mission to me to help as many people as I can. And so far, um, things have been going very, very well. Our goal, our catchphrase is take charge of your mood. And what I mean by that is if you're sad and you don't want to be, 
then we have something that can help you take that emotion and and have a better emotion be happy or if you are unfocused it come come to find out you've heard the term he's in the zone she's in the zone well guess what the zone is an actual place and met with melody clouds you can listen to binaural beats that will bring your brain into very sharp focus and people have just they just love that they love being able to slip themselves into that spot and and work better and and enjoy their life a little bit better okay do you have a specific sounds or melodies for different profession or for different occupations let's say probably most people know that the most important time of our days are the first like 30 minutes in the morning and the last 30 minutes in the evening because 100% that's our true. mind is so succept- accessible to information the subconscious is still asleep yeah. and it's still absorbing everything. So what a melody would you suggest in the morning so you can have a, be in a great mood in the morning for the rest of the day and in the evening so you can sleep? Yes. Okay. So that is a very good way of looking at this, by the way. So thanks for that. With binaural beats, your brain is an electrical appliance. Every single thought, every emotion, every signal that your brain sends to your body and you enunciate, you speak, is an electrical impulse. Those electrical impulses can be measured with an EEG and those frequencies dictate whether you're focused, whether you're sad, whether you are Okay, whether you feel enlightened. Now, if you can get your brain to recreate certain frequencies, it come to find out you will recreate that emotion. I'll give you an example. For me, 432 hertz is sleep. Okay, that's the frequency that gets me to doze off into a heavy, deep sleep. Every night, I open Melody Clouds, I go to my binaural beat section, I play, it's a little sleeping baby, so it's very easy for me to find. When I press play on that piece of music that has these binaural beats, these two frequencies embedded in it, I have listened, this is true, I have listened to 14 seconds of that track of music hundreds of times. Because at 15 seconds, I am out. I am sleeping that quickly. And I could, my wife is in the next room. I could bring her in. She'll tell you if that music starts, you got about five seconds to let me know whatever you, because it, there's no stopping it. It's right off. Now, the same is true whether you are. Okay, let's say that you're struggling in a relationship. You're, you and your significant other or you and your friend are having a struggle in your relationship. There are frequencies that you can train your brain, that you can bring to your brain to make you more enlightened, that will make you heal that relationship. It puts you in the mood to be more accepting of others. And, and so you can use these tools to help you in other ways other than just sleep or just tinnitus. So if you're angry and you don't want to be, you can go into your phone, play a track. And, and let, me, let me make this a little more real for you, okay? Because I know that there are some people listening to us going, oh, come on. That bald guy doesn't know what he's talking about. All right. There are 17 movies in the history of filmmaking that do not have a soundtrack, okay? There's a reason for that. Even silent movies had someone in front playing a piano telling you, the audience, how to feel about what the images are, right? They're manipulating your moods with those sounds, with that music. That's really what we're talking about here. If you step into a church that is playing a heavy dirge, right? An organist is playing a heavy, you become a reverent. You and I could walk in together and we would know without even looking at one another that it, quiet our voice, we are going to be very reverent, okay? Now, you take the same two people across the street to a 
church that's playing praise music, immediately we're going from that reverent to praise and our hands go above our head and we feel euphoric and we get ourselves in a position to pray. Now it doesn't just work with religious activities either. This works whether you're watching Top Gun or whether you're watching WALL-E. Well, let me ask you something. You mentioned that there is a, let's say, relationship and then you can fix that. So, and the app is probably there is a wife button. Let's say she's getting on my nerves. I just click on one. <laughs> Very sticker. close. <laughs> the, you, you, you get out of my brain. Very close, sir. When you go into the binaural beat section, you will scroll through award-winning art. And that art is there to clue you in to the music that's contained in that. So if you're looking to relax, you look for relaxing images, right? And then you can pick, okay, which track of music um, am I going to be able to relax to? Or I did a very, I think anyway, a very good job of matching images to the music to make it easy for you to be able to find the music that you're going to, or the, the, the binaural beats that are going to make you, or give you the result that you're looking for, whether it be healing tissue, I mean, did you realize that the reason we created the hospital, when someone is injured, what do we do? We pick them up off the ground and we rush them to a hospital. Now, why would we do that? We do that because they need rest and they need a place where their brain is not in a survival thought. They need to be able to relax so their brain can dictate resources to the injured parts of their body. It's We've been doing it for hundreds of years, and that's why we do it. We bring them food, we provide them comfort, because their brain only needs to be working on healing their tissues. We have on um, 285 hertz, 285 hertz, that is a healing binaural beat. It puts your brain into a hyperdrive where you are going and healing the areas of your body that are out of whack or need healing. It, they, there are studies that show people who listen to these frequencies heal joints, heal muscles, heal the things that are wrong with them quicker, much quicker. Just like putting someone in the hospital will get them, they will heal much further or much better than someone that you leave on the side, on the side of the road. We don't do that. But, it, you know, if you just left them there, they're not going to heal very quickly. They're too worried about survival. The same thing is you've ever, okay, you've walked along and you had this feeling of intuition. You met someone and you had a feeling, oh man, I, this person is not necessarily being honest with me, or I've got a very good feeling about this fellow. There is that your brain is operating at a frequency of 741 hertz. And if you like that feeling, or if you need to tap into that feeling where you can suss out what someone's motives are, listen to that track for a few minutes and it will reveal to you things about that. Your brain will start operating in that mode. Probably a good idea if you play poker, probably a really good idea to listen to that binaural beat while you're playing because you become much more in tuned and focused on that level of uh, interaction with people. Yeah, but when you are in danger or something, like you said, you meet a fellow, you don't know what to think about him, you don't have time to listen to the binaural beats. You gotta, make, you gotta make a decision right away. And usually, Correct. how do you move into the 741 hertz frequency so you can feel it without listening to the melody right. at that moment? Yeah, you're exact, that's 100%, that's a very good point. And fortunately for you and for me, our brains naturally do that. They, our brain will start itself. It will start operating in that frequency so we can suss out. What I'm talking about is when you and I are just sitting at home, right? And we are not in that fight or flight situation where we need that intuition or where we need that frequency. We're able to call it up at will. We're able to put ourselves our brain waves in that frequency so we still can benefit from it. Okay, so what is your, the remedy for regular folks with tinnitus? So we have several different, um, we have, for that reason, 
So someone has tinnitus, tinnitus, they go to Melody Clouds, they open the app, and there are several different frequencies that they can listen to. Some people can even use white noise. We have white noise on there. They can listen to white noise, and that seems to, um, to have a very good effect for some people. But my suggestion would be go through the five to eight frequencies that are on there for that specific uh, condition, right, and find the one that works for you. Very similar to finding a comfortable pair of shoes or to finding a medication that a actually does without side effects what you need it to do. I have, I will say that I have not, I don't have every single frequency for every single person. And the reason that I know that is every once in a while, every couple months, I will have someone come to me and say, hey, I went through all the frequencies, nothing helped me. And to those people, I say, all right, I'm going right back to the drawing board and I'm going to, I'll add more frequencies. That's how we got to where we are now, is I add more frequencies in that range until we find one that actually helps that individual person. So far, though, those have been coming fewer and fewer. We seem to have nailed down um, a very good selection of frequencies for that particular condition. So... You know, that's what I would tell them. Look, try these. And if it works, it, you know. Okay, so there is not no cure for tinnitus. Yeah, there's only no maintenance. Okay. Listen, you couldn't go to a surgeon to cure it. You couldn't go to a, a ear, eyes, nose, and throat doctor to cure it. There is no cure for this condition. You have injured your auditory nerve to the point where this is the result. Now, there are treatments... There are some people respond to oil. There is a specific eucalyptus oil or something you can drop. Some people think the world of that. It works for them. It did nothing for me. I spent, I have spent well in excess of three or four thousand dollars on different treatments for my hearing aids. I used to wear two hearing, I've got profound hearing loss as well. And so I had a set of hearing aids, very high speed. <laughs> very good hearing aids. And in the app, it would allow me to try and treat my tinnitus. And it never, I never could get it dialed in where it would even help. This is the only thing for me personally, I have found that helped. So what's more dangerous, the caffeine, alcohol, or is there anything else that affects our tinnitus so we can stay away from that? What are the most dangerous aspects for us with people, you know, so we don't get the tinnitus or we can minimize it if you have it. The number one thing I would say is continuing to listen to loud or too loud music. Okay. That's number one, because you're continuing to in injure the, the nerve that's already injured. Okay. So that's what I would say. If you're listening, if you know that you have tinnitus or even if you don't and you crank up your earbuds and you're pumping sound into your ears at a very high level as we most of us did when we were teenagers, right? You're doing yourself absolutely no favors. So that I would put at number 1. Number 2, I don't send I do not hear it as bad when I am drinking. If I, I have a couple of drinks, I do not hear the tinnitus nearly as much. Drinking alcohol? Alcohol. Okay. I, I'm a gin and tonic guy. I, okay. I like to have a gin and tonic. Me, okay. I, I like wine too. But what kind of drinks affect most and which one doesn't affect that bad? For me, for me, I um, when I drink alcohol, if I drink beer, if I drink wine, I really don't notice any difference. Hard liquor. If I'm drinking gin, again, really no difference. But when I, I know when I drink tea with caffeine... I don't drink coffee, so you know. Fortunately, there that I took that off there myself. Uh, any caffeinated beverage, caffeine for me will send me my tinnitus through the roof, through the roof. And the longer in the day that I have been on that stimulant, the worse it gets. And it will bring your blood pressure up too. Oh yeah. 
Oh, it, everything. Well, look, I'm a very excitable person anyway. I, I have no business drinking a ton of caffeine. Look at me. Right. You know, you I'm just, sweating <laughs> just having a conversation with somebody. Right. You just make another button over there. Say, say podcast interview button. Make me happy. <laughs> Without coffee. Right. Yeah. right. Uh, But look, we we have a tendency to rely on those. Dr- and not, this is not a commercial against caffeinated beverages. Look, I, I myself, I enjoy them all the time. We we have become dependent on certain chemicals uh, to enhance our lives, whether those chemicals are caffeine to get us going, whether they are uh, mood altering. Listen, I had a woman come up to me two weeks ago. I'm still reeling from this conversation, by the way. I am standing at a table. I am explaining Melody Clouds to a whole room full of people. This very sweet woman came up to me and said, eh, I don't need it. Every night I take four Benadryl and I go right to sleep. And it, I heard four Benadryl and then a car crash. That's what I heard. I was like, oh my God, every single night you're taking four Benadryl. There is nothing on the box of a Benadryl tablet that says anything about getting you to sleep. It, that is a side effect. The drowsiness is a side effect, ma'am. I I was like, what is that doing to your liver? You're taking double the dosage that they uh, tell you to take. And you're using it for something it was never intended to be used for. Oh, yeah. I said, please, I will, please use this, try it, 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 it do the drug, free. if you could do something drug free, that's really the direction I would push you. Now, what professions are affected the most by tinnitus? Very good question, man, you, seriously, that is a very, so Dennis, And anyone working in a dental office that are using the old style drills, especially, okay? So they're sitting there all day filling teeth and they're drilling and all of these noises, right? I have entire dental groups that have uh, signed up for Melody Clouds for everyone that works in that, in that uh, uh, office. Construction workers, these guys are out hammering and um, you know road crews, Is all these loud noises, and they, they are given very poor ear protection, okay? Um, disc jockeys, DJs, musicians, anyone that plays a musical instrument, it, whether they're playing in a band or not, even a woodwind or a stringed instrument can play at a level and play notes at a octave that is going to injure your ear If you are repeatedly, you practice, you practice, you get good, and what do you give up? You give up this ringing in your ear because you, you know, practiced yourself into a raging case of tinnitus. And that's, that's a shame. And again, it can happen anyone, any profession, if you do not guard your hearing jealously, if you are not focused on protecting your hearing you you if you ride a motorcycle and don't wear a helmet right that's foolish if you uh play football and aren't padded up you're that's no no one would allow that nobody we have safety goggles for men that are or and women that go in and do woodworking or do metalworking so this is very similar to what i'm talking about here You, you, there are tools that you can do to protect yourself and you need to take advantage of those. Let me ask you this. I'm going to give you a, another question. The opposite of the one that I asked you previously. What professions are the least affected by tinnitus? Librarians, places where you are forced to be quiet and the environment around you is very focused on be teachers, uh, librarians, Uh, people who work in a church or a synagogue th that is not charismatic, okay? So th these professions, and man, or a uh, fisherman, uh, a fisherman who is not racing his motor, um, it, you know, and you're not hearing that drum of the motor all the time, 
places where you can get into nature, forest ranger, whatever, where you can get into nature and listen to natural sounds and listen to them in the proper volume, you suffer less hearing loss, you suffer less tinnitus, you suffer every other type of hearing injury that you can come up with, they're less. I was ready for that question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this is why we, we tend to go to closer to nature as well that we get. We want to be in a quiet place. We don't want to be in noise anymore. So that makes sense. Well, one of the things we just added, and I'll tell you, um, there's really good things coming up for Melody Clouds. So one of the things that we added is a whole section of nature sound. We had a lot of people come to us and say, listen, these binaural beats, it's great. The music is fantastic, but I just want to sit quietly, do a meditation by a raging river or rain. I like to hear rain on a tin. So I listened and I went and got 800 hours of nature sounds. Now, that wasn't enough for me. I wanted to give people the ability to start building their own environment. And so very shortly, I can't promise exactly when because we've run into a little snafu, but very shortly, we will be adding as part of this app, the ability to pick specific sounds and to add them together to create your own environment. That's a great now, idea. I love it because we, I have friends that are from the city and when they come to visit in the uh, a, a home uh, in the country, they can't go to sleep because they don't hear the city yeah. noises. Yeah. And I have friends that live in the desert in the country, right? Way out in the middle of nowhere. And when they go to visit friends in the city, they cannot go to sleep because they don't have all the sounds with them. And so we have decided, look, we're going to be able to make your environment portable. You'll, you'll be able to carry your favorite environment in your phone with you and be able to relax in any way that you do that. Well, uh, Wayne, let, let's talk about the app a little bit, about Melody Clouds. Can you tell your listeners about where they can find it, where they can find more about you, about your work, what you do? 100%. We're very worried right now about keeping our personal information personal. And so my part of that is Melody Clouds, our app does not collect personal information and it goes further. It doesn't allow third party apps to collect information about you while you're using the app. Much to Apple's chagrin. They, they do not like that about us. MelodyClouds.com is the website. You can go to the uh, app store in Apple and look for Melody Clouds, download the app. The app is free. You, the subscription is $2.99 for the first 60 days. And Sergey, the largest button on Melody Clouds, okay? Largest button on Melody Clouds. What would you think that button is? Sleep button. This, the, the unsubscribe button. Unsubscribe, the, okay. <laughs> the unsubscribe button. The unsubscribe button is in my app developer went round and round on me because I wanted to make it very easy to unsubscribe from Melly Club because I'm, look, man, I'm a real guy. I don't like when I feel like I've been tricked into or trapped into subscribing to something that has become useless to me. And I'm just like everybody else. I refuse to do that to anyone else. So the largest button and the only red button in the entire app is the unsubscribe button. Press that button and you say goodbye. We're divorced. It's over. The relationship is over. But MelodyClouds.com, you can sign up for a monthly membership. It's $2.99 for the first 60 days. It's $5.99 after that. You can sign up for a year and save yourself some money. $59.99, we're actually charging $45 right now uh, for uh, your listeners and uh, uh, other places that we've been. And then we've also done a 50% off of the lifetime membership. Lifetime membership is normally $299, uh, but we're at 50% off $145 for the next 60 days. Next 60 days, we are doing lifetime memberships at half off, and people are welcome to take advantage of that as well. 
Well, Wayne, I think this is a great, great um, app and a good opportunity for people to to maintain their tinnitus. And not only that, but to fall asleep easier, to shut out the wife, you know, if they need to take deal with that, <laughs> stuff like that. I know a lot of, I, there's a hidden button. Nobody knows about it. You know? <laughs> that's only you and I know. We're not going to tell that's anyone. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and then it's, uh, I mean, to calm down the wife. I, I didn't say it right. Calm down the wife. <laughs> Hey, listen, I wanted to mention, we have on the app now Aesop's Fables. You are probably familiar with Aesop and the stories that he told. But for us, I got a very close friend of mine, Gary Meyer. He is in the Radio Hall of Fame. His voice is unlike any other. A tremendous radio announcer. Came aboard and read 138 of these stories I wanted to bring those to not only my children, but to everyone else's children. And we also cut our lullabies. We just added um, 800 hours of lullabies. And the reason that we cut the lullabies at five hours, so you put the baby down, press play, that music will play for five hours. And there's a scientific reason that we did that. The first skill a new human learns in their life is how to self-soothe, how to get themselves back to sleep, right? Yeah. They do that 30%, up to 30% faster when they go to sleep with particular music playing and they wake up in the middle of the night with particular music playing. And they realize very quickly, okay, I'm in the same sp space I was before, it's safe, and they go right back to sleep. New th That right there is the most uh, letters that I get. Most communication are from new parents g telling me what a genius I am.